Felix and Max knocked on Harriet's door. Hi, guys, said Harriet. Are you ready for our picnic? asked Max. Almost, said Harriet. I just need to get blue. But when she tried to fit her special blanket into her backpack, there wasn't room. Maybe this is the day I should try leaving Blue at home, Harriet said. Do you think you could? asked Felix. Well, said Harriet, I think so. But her tummy felt wibbly-wobbly as she put Blue back on her bed. As they walked through the forest, Max said, What's wrong, Harriet? Harriet said, I miss Blue. I wish I hadn't left Blue at home. Here, said Max, you can hold my snoodles. By the time they were ready to eat their picnic lunch, Harriet felt better. She gave snoodles back to Max. When they got home, Harriet ran inside and gave Blue a big hug. I missed you, Blue said Harriet. But I was okay. So from now on, if I leave you here, you'll be fine, and so will I. Mrs. Mole's Birthday Present by Nancy E. Walker Guy Art by Bridget Strevens Marzo I picked flowers and apples for Mrs. Mole's birthday, said Felix. I made cookies said Max. Harriet began to cry. I forgot Mrs. Mole's birthday, she said. I don't have a present. All I have is blue. Blue was Harriet's favorite blanket. She took it everywhere. You can't give blue to Mrs. Mole, said Felix. No, you can't, agreed Max. But we could all sit on Blue and have a picnic, said Harriet. With apples, said Felix. And cookies, said Max. And flowers to make Blue pretty, said Felix. Oh, yes, said Harriet. Felix, Max, and Harriet got everything ready. Then they asked Mrs. Mole to come outside. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mole! They cried. A birthday picnic, said Mrs. Mole. What a wonderful present! Thank you all! What's New? By Nancy E. Walker Guy Art by Bridget Strevens Marzo Felix, Max, and Harriet were visiting Mrs. Mole. I have a new ball, said Felix, holding it up. And look, I have a new jump rope, said Max. Harriet felt embarrassed, sad too. She didn't have anything new. I have to go, she said. Mrs. Mole went outside and asked, What's wrong, Harriet? I don't have anything new. Of course you do, said Mrs. Mole. I do, said Harriet. You told me yesterday that you made up a dance, said Mrs. Mole. Remember? Yes, Harriet clapped her hands and smiled. And no one else has seen it, so it's new. Harriet and Mrs. Mole went back inside. I have something new, too, Harriet said. Watch, I'll show you. Mrs. Mole put on some music, and Harriet did her dance for everyone. When Harriet finished, Max said, What a great dance! Would you teach it to us? asked Felix. Sure, said Harriet, and she did. 
Soon, they were all dancing Harriet's new dance. Mrs. Mole 2. Where is Felix hiding? By Nancy E. Walker Guy. Art by Bridget Strevens Marzo. Max and Felix were playing at Harriet's house. Let's play hide and seek, suggested Harriet. Yes, let's, said Max. Felix yawned. Ugh, I'm too tired. Please, said Harriet. I'll be it. All you have to do is hide. All right, said Felix. Harriet counted to ten. Soon, she found Max behind the blueberry bush. But she couldn't find Felix anywhere. Max helped her look. Where could he be? wondered Harriet. He's not usually this good at hiding, said Max. Did you hear that? asked Harriet. It sounds like someone snoring, said Max. Harriet saw something sticking out from under a blanket. Look, she said. Ears, said Max. Felix's ears, said Harriet. Felix sat up and stretched. Wow, Felix, said Harriet. You did a great job of hiding. Thanks, said Felix. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mole. By Nancy E. Walker Guy. Art by Bridget Strevens Marzo. Max and Felix were having a play date with Harriet. Mrs. Mole is having a birthday soon, said Harriet. Last year we gave her a picnic. Maybe this year we could make her a present. That's a good idea, Harriet, said Felix. Mrs. Mole tells us such great stories when we visit. We could knit a scarf for her, said Max. But I can't knit, said Harriet. Neither can I, said Felix. Well, I can, said Max. My mom taught me how, and I can teach you. For the next few days, the three friends worked hard. It's almost Mrs. Mole's birthday, said Felix, and our scarves are way too small. Let's sew them together, cried Max. Can we do that? asked Harriet. I think so, said Max. Let's ask my mom for help. Max's mom was glad to help. I like our three scarf scarf, said Harriet happily. So do I, said Felix. So do I, said Max. The next day was Mrs. Mole's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! cried Max and Felix and Harriet as they handed her their gift. Oh my, said Mrs. Mole. Thank you for this lovely, cozy, and very colorful scarf. And then she gave her three little friends a great big hug. Harriet's Mittens by Nancy E. Walker Guy, art by Bridget Strevens Marzo. Harriet, Max, and Felix were playing. An icy wind began to blow. My hands are cold, said Max. Mine too, said Felix. If you put your hands in your pockets, they won't be so cold, said Harriet. I don't have pockets, said Max. Neither do I, said Felix. I do, said Harriet. And look what's inside. Mittens, said Max. 
I have an idea, said Harriet. She stood between Felix and Max. Felix, put this mitten on your outside hand, she said. Max, put this mitten on your outside hand. Now, hold my hands with your inside hands. My hands are getting warm, said Felix. Mine too, said Max. Mine too, said Harriet. Now let's go get your mittens. Thank you.